Welcome one and all. Love Them Knives channel LTKCJRB. I thought it was an ORB. I'm going orb. It's not. It's a CJRB. And yes, it's the Artisan Cutlery uh, budget line of knives that has come out recently. This is the 1901 Good Nutrition Center model. Just, just kidding you about the GNC. I don't know. Um, it's got green G10. You can get them in different colors. Get them on White Mountain Knives and you get 10% off. And all these knives, uh, CRJB, CJRB, I swear to God, I'm going to get this right. CJRB knives are, you know, available on White Mountain Knives until they're out of stock and then they'll come back in stock, if you know what I mean. But... Use the 10% discount code. You know, they run anywhere from like, ooh, a whopping $43.99 to $39.99. So, and this one is the 01, which is the Tala, T-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. So, the Tala, how much does that cost you? Well, for that high gluten carbon fiber one. But if we can get to the Tala, that's not, yeah. So $39.99, I guess the carbon fiber ones are more expensive. And God only knows why, because uh, I ain't digging the carbon fiber, you know, this laminate stuff. I mean, this is, you know, laminate. So G10 carbon fiber, I'm, I'm not digging it. So no, I really have this. And of course, this is contoured G10. If you get the carbon fiber that's laminate, it's not going to be contoured. They just don't do it that way. But so be it this is nice and grippy it's a pretty decent sized knife it's an open design on these knives at least as they stand here do not have skeletonized liners does that really make them real heavy uh, well they're kind of just a user b so i don't know if weight is all that important i mean you're not six ounces or anything 4.8 so they're under five ounces or this one is 138 grams so it's not real heavy but it's reasonably decent size knife and i think most all these are like three and a half eight and a quarter overall this is three and a half so about 90 millimeters Oh, not quite eight and a quarter, but pretty darn close. And almost 21 centimeters, 20 and a half, that kind of thing. So pretty standard size, like your Spyderco, you know, Paramilitary 2, something like that. And here's my 3519 from CH Knives, which is definitely a bigger knife. Uh, the little kicker, I'm going to have to get a, small, a different small knife for comparison out here. I, I've got some around here. I just, I got to dig them up. I got to change my crew out. But there you go. That's a three and a seven here, that mini Doman. So that's seven inches overall, three inch blade. So yeah, that's a lot smaller. Uh, we got a Paladin in the house. Yes, we do. I love my G10 Best Tech knives. I do. Uh, these CJRB though are less expensive you know, $39.99, so almost $4 discount. So what are you looking at? $35.99 delivered. Okay, so that's that's nice. Now, they don't have a backspacer. And I don't know how big a deal that is to you. Not overly heavy. And, by the way, pretty good action. This one's centered. No lock rock, no blade play. It is grippy, too. Uh, 20%. But it looks pretty stout. I mean, it's it's squared up. Uh, flipper tab, not overly rounded, as you can see. But it's not sharp or anything. Uh, and it's drilled out in the middle. Okay. The pivot's nice. It's machined, so it's got a nice look to it. I wouldn't expect much more from the screws than what you got there. And lanyard hole goes through. Okay, deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand. And I think most of those CJRB, CJRB knives, uh, this is what the briar. So, you know, right or left handed. 
right or left. Yeah, they're all, they look like all of them. Here's the Centros by uh, Mallory. Yeah, yeah, right or left-handed. Which one's this, the Crag? Yeah, right or left-handed, deep carry. So deep carry, right or left-handed. So they didn't forget the lefties, whoever keeps commenting on, I, I should remember your username, but keep commenting about, come on, man. There are left-handed people in the world, and this is nice. So they, they're giving you that option to flip it. And really, it looks like uh, it, it has good ergos on these. Um, there's no jimping here. Uh, I'm not seeing any jimping on the flipper tab either. So you didn't go to extravagant lengths to do other kinds of things here. But I think they were trying to meet a certain price point. But one thing you might be interested in, I pulled the Centros apart. You know, the Mallory one, which is this little sucker. I pulled this one apart. I really like, this is the one out of the five of them that I'm going to be reviewing, initially at least, that's not a flipper. But I pulled it apart, and just as an aside, ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent. And, oh, did you see, as notice this as well, that you got a D-shaped uh, pivot. So at least when you go to unscrew the side that's the screw, the other side will hold. So if you're going, I can't break it loose, you're probably on the pivot side, not on the screw side. So give it, yeah, because I, I checked it, you know, I'll give it a little bit of pressure and then I go, oop, other side. That's why I try and when I put them back together, make sure that I know I put my screw side on this side and the non, the whole, the whole, it's a one tube with this cap on the end, one piece. So there's only one screw to these, which is fine. I like it that way. It's easier to center up and adjust and all that. And this is centered. So it's good. They're D2 steel. They're stone washed. And they're sharp out of the box. Let me grab a piece of paper. Okay. Yeah. Reasonably sharp. And if you got D2 burnout, then I guess you got D2 burnout with these two. Uh, there's no options of having Sandvik steel or anything else on these. But like I said, ergos are pretty good on this one, on the 1901 Tala, okay? And you have a go forward position, which I think they're giving you in almost all of these models that I'll be talking about. And that's nice. Okay, so you can choke up for fine work. The blade shape itself may be okay for piercing and, and probably pretty decent for slicing. But it's kind of a unique blade shape, probably not the most practical blade shape. I'd say probably really the most practical blade shape among the crew of five that I have is the Centros. That just, that's a lot of belly there and piercing and just happens to be Dylan Mallory that designed it. But still, you know, that just seems to be the most sensible. So go figure, I pick the one that's not a flipper as the most uh, sensible blade shape, but it, it seems to be to me. But, I mean, this has style points. You know, it has a certain design flair to it. And the pa pass-through is really easy to disengage the blade. And they drop pretty nice. I haven't done anything with this one. I haven't disassembled or adjusted the pivot but it has really nice action open easy to clean etc so not a bad looking knife feels good in the hand where's my balance point it's kind of clear back here right there okay i think last things last which it should have been first but contour g10 almost six tenths of an inch 14.8 millimeters. Let's take a look at, yeah, three millimeters. Okay, blade stock, 0.12. Probably all the blades are pretty much the same width, but I think we're going to have varying weights and we're going to have varying thickness on the handle depending on if it's contoured or flat. And see, some of these are not contoured. 
you know, this is the briar. The Centros, this is not this is not a contour G10. They're all really grippy though. And there you go. So hmm. Yeah. Take a look at the five. I have five of them. Five models. And let me just throw them together here real quick. But as I click out of this, just so you can kind of see. You know, the Briar, of course, the Centros out here. And almost got that flicked right out. That one's nice. I took That's the one I took apart. It's really got awesome action on it now. And then, of course, the Crag, which is your mm, kind of cleaverish looking thing. So that may be appealing to some of you guys. Uh, but, yes, these are interesting knives. Of course, this is the Taiga. T-A-I-G-A, -A, Briar, Tala, Centros, and Crag. I actually got that. I won't even try and repeat that again. I probably won't get the names right. But there you go. One time, one shot. I'll leave you to it and take a look at my other reviews on these other four knives. And I will get them because they deserve at least a brief video, as brief as I go, which is about 12 minutes here, right? On the on their own merits and going forward i see that there's some other new designs already being shown on their instagram I haven't seen them actually out but depending on the date that these different reviews are released there may be new models out as well so take a look they seem to have good action fairly good ergos and uh, seem to be a really good value for the money it's just like how cheap can you go when you're down to the 35 dollar range where are we going from there? Ganzo territory is the next stop. 25 bucks or bust, right? Woo. Take care, my friends. You know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.